Ever since the end of the reign of Vine, companies have been very excited to push their own versions of short form slop, uh, I mean content, on their user base, whether they like it or not. You can go on TikTok and watch lip syncing videos, go on YouTube Shorts and watch lip syncing videos, or even go on Instagram Reels to watch lip syncing videos. But besides the awkward dancing and Sigma male edits, there's plenty of helpful and not so helpful videos, especially within the fitness industry. And as someone who isn't very fit, but has the word fitness in their channel name, I decided I'd try out some of the tips, tricks, and secret exercises that influencers like to advertise. So first up, we have a mobility exercise from at Dylan Taylor underscore on YouTube. Challenge to see if you have strength and mobility. I don't know if it's harder than it looks. I think it already looks hard, uh, but let's go ahead and try it. That's a little bit worse. Okay, this is another exercise from Tyler Path. Tyler hyphen Path on YouTube. Go subscribe to him. People who watch my videos when they train rear delts. I'm watching his videos right now. This is crazy. I don't I don't know if I really train rear delts, I'm not gonna lie. I like the music. This is a very this is a very chill YouTube short. I, I wish it was a little longer. <laughs> It looks like a good exercise. I wish that you would show a little bit more than uh, half a second or, or one ref of this first one. This looks like some pretty solid rear delt activation. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see if it works. Solid. So here's a tip from Jimaholics using some very copyrighted music. We'll just, I don't know, we'll throw in some royalty free uh, lo fi beat. Okay, so this is smart. This is very, this is a very efficacious tip. Uh, I don't know that it's enough though. I don't know that an out of order sign is enough to stop every single person. What I would do. Uh, you get like a, a fake prank turd or something and sit on the seat or better yet just take a real shit on the equipment and I don't think anyone else is going to use that. Gym phase that I recommend you skip. Not being able to bench press 225. Wait, you can just skip that? Wait, seriously? You could, ju you could just bench 225? I didn't even think about that. Man, I've been wasting my time in the gym. I could have just been benching 225 this whole time. Uh, in all seriousness, I'm assuming that this is a, a joke on this trend. I hope so. Uh, if it's not, it's pretty mean-spirited. But you never want to make fun of anyone for where they're at in their fitness journey. Everyone starts somewhere. Some people start at more advantage spots than others. So just uh, be mindful of that. You know, some people might not ever bench 225, and that's okay. It's just... Um, Depends on your own goals and your genetics and things like that. So, all right, this video comes from Ordinary Gym Bro, so go and give him a like, assuming that this is a joke. <laughs> Shout out to Hannah Oberg1 for this tip. Form over weights, that is very, that's very real. Uh, I guess depending on what exactly your goals are, but you should always want to have good form so you're not getting injured. 
you know, I, I think I, I kind of have this problem a little bit too. I feel it. Uh, I, I feel lat pull downs other places than my lats sometimes. You know, I feel it in my core, even like my legs, just trying to keep myself in place. So it's almost like keeping a partial range of motion. You're not, um, maybe you're not getting the stretch so much at the top, but you're keeping the contraction and it's more time under tension. This is, this is a good tip, I think. Let's, uh, let's try it out. So shout out to S Wolverine five six four four on YouTube for this one. This is a seven hundred pound Zercher squat. Zercher squat is kind of a, a hilarious exercise to me. Like I'm sure, it is, I think that it is a really good strength builder. It just looks so dangerous, and my biggest exposure to it is Eric Buchanan. <laughs> doing like yeah doing like 700 pounds and screaming in his basement god this dude looks like a viking though i'm both um amazed and not surprised at all that he can do this Oh my god, okay, so here's Matthew Road to Huge Hughes on Instagram. What what the fuck did Matthew oh it's five inch inseam kind of summer. Dude the chase! <laughs> He's creasing this chase. Why man? Okay, so this looks like one, this looks painful. Uh two, the Jordans. Dang. It is a five inch inseam kind of summer. Those quads look awesome. Those Porsche, those shoes are expensive as hell. Hang on, let me see. Let me see how much this go for right now. Oh, fourteen hundred, sixteen hundred, and he's just lifting it. I mean, I, I gotta appreciate it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try this one out. I'm gonna crease my my can my my J's, my Air Force my Air Force cans. Oh my god, okay, here we go. Oh, it's touched it. Yeah, that kind of sucked. Okay, this is from Lee Day. Jesus Christ, this is from Lee Dayon. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> I don't know what this text says, but this is amazing. Yeah, this is definitely one I gotta try with the gym bros real quick. I um, I I don't think I have enough friends for this actually. Okay, we got Hannah Oberg again. She gave us our lat pull down tip earlier. My favorite exercise in the gym, everyone should do this. Okay, so she's got a, a spray bottle, three reps, and like a, a towel. I don't, I don't see how this can be efficacious at all. Um, I mean, there's no like stimulus. This is, this is a Z tier, this is a Z tier exercise. I, oh my God. Okay, five minute posture routine from Jeremy Ethier. This is a channel that I actually watch quite a bit. Forward head, round shoulders, down the, but no, I don't look like that. I mean, this editing is really good. I gotta love when, when fitness channels do things like this. I would do it if I knew how, uh, but I don't. So the stretching routine takes about five minutes. Uh, this is something that you could probably just do every day to correct some of those posture issues if you're having those. Oh, this one, okay, this is pretty immediately very deep. Cool. I never know what to do with my hands when I'm stretching like this. 
POV, you find out how influencers wear their shorts from at Millie McClay on YouTube. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so you just pull them up into your... Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, let's try this one. Yeah, I think that works. I think this is a good one. Okay, I think I need to say this though. Um, this is not POV, okay? This is more like POV, your friend just found out how influencers wear their shorts. <laughs> okay, use POV right, please. This is a shoulder exercise being showed off by Kino Body on YouTube. Go give him a follow. Like Cuban Press. Huh. I don't know how about this this feeling, huh? So it's almost like an upright row first, and then you flip it, and then it's a shoulder press. Oh my god, it's insane that I can't back YouTube shorts up. They gotta do something about that. Yeah, okay, so the way he's lifting it is he's it kind of looks like he's pulling with his elbows. This is uh, an interesting one. He said you use 20 or 30 pounds. I would be careful using that much, honestly. Uh, this, the, the way that this looks mechanically, it seems like it might uh, have potential to hurt. I would start really light if you're gonna try this, and I am gonna try this, so we'll see. All right, we got a couple workout from Alexandra Tyler, 8570 on YouTube. Okay, yeah, so that's, that's pretty cute. Um, I'll, I'm gonna try this with my gym booth thing. What a day, dude. You look lonely. Uh, really cool dog, also, so. Shout out to that dog. All right, this is from Instagram, Max, uh, Max E F R T, Max Effort. I'm assuming. Okay, so you get yourself up on a pull-up bar, and you flip yourself over, and okay. Well, the, okay. So the problem with this, I think, is that it's just way too easy. I don't. I like again. I you're gonna have to do a lot of reps to really get much out of this exercise. So. Alright, let's try it out though. Watch and learn, folks. Easy. It's pretty easy. This is a, it's a good, maybe a good beginner exercise for some people, but yeah. This is a must-do gym hack from Hazzy Trainer on YouTube. Okay, avoid this. Don't pick up the wasting energy. Okay, so do this instead. Conserve your energy by, by rolling the 90-pound dumbbells. Wait, is this for real? Uh, don't do this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is a joke either. Okay, so the next tip is from this guy, Super Average Fitness. Um, doesn't even look like he works out. I don't really know what he's doing. Uh, having a, a YouTube fitness channel. Is this a Spider-Man themed workout? Really, what are you like, 12? I don't know. This is F tier. This is one of the worst videos that I've ever seen. Uh, subscribe to me. Um, wait. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to make just kind of an in-between thing as I transition back to going to college. Uh, I figured now would be the perfect time to plug my Instagram and Twitter. I haven't really posted anything yet, but I will. If you want to see more videos in this style, 
you can go ahead and DM me on Twitter and Instagram. Send me any weird exercises you want me to try, things you want me to explain or just react to. More than happy to do that and engage with you guys. I know there aren't very many of you, but still. Uh, so thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video.